All right, there appears to be like a growing cult around this game where like there was one person that was nominating it for Patreon for like a long time and then like an entire circle of people have all started to nominate it. It's just, it's developing into a situation. So I, I feel like I should nip this in the bud before my Patreon turns into Cultist Simulator or something. But for, sure, let's play, oop. Let's play Full Bore, a very strange looking game. You can play as Hildy. Still a boar. Frederick. Still a boar. Did it originally say something other than still a boar? Frederick is purple, and Hildy is also purple. But with yellow hair. Okay. So. Well. <laughs> no going back now. There appears to be no jumping. Are my buttons doing that? No. <laughs> okay, so he just sits down after a while. But, uh... He kind of just butts heads against things as a default interaction. That's his verb. Can he butt heads... He can also hit the roof when there is one. Otherwise, he just looks up. This one's fucking hilarious looking because he has to, like, roll his head. It looks like a lot of effort. This is supposed to be like, I think it's supposed to be like something along the lines of like a puzzle metroidvania sort of thing. Maybe a bit like Toki Tori 2, which is a bad example to use because I haven't played that one yet either. So, I don't know why I do this to myself. Well, goodbye. Is he like chasing butterflies? Is that a thing? He seems to, oh yeah. He definitely moves on a tile basis. Is there a, there's a slight weirdness to his movement if you think he's gonna move like a platformer character because you realize, oh, he's moving like Mr. Driller. He's moving on a grid. That's why he feels like he's like not quite starting and stopping when I mean to. Oop. That's a strong reaction. Hello. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, the whole floor's covered in mines. I... Is this Celeste? Are those basalt columns in the background? Oh, I see how the problem starts. Wow. I briefly thought they were going to be like, pick a character, and then immediately that character gets captured, and then you have to play as the other character to save the one you picked. I, I kind of thought I had to go save Frederick as Hildy. But no, it looks like we're here. What did you land in? Like a cloning chamber or something. <laughs> My crust has been extracted. <laughs> it's been shit. The music's nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more on my end. The, uh... Presentation got a lot better. On the surface, the visuals kind of look jank, but right now, it, this this particular aesthetic I'm digging way more. It's coming together more. Oh! Alright. This just game's just all surprises. Oh shit, what did it say a second ago? Did it say dig? Okay, dig, dig, dig. Okay. Just says it right there. Okay, so you can dig through dirt. Fucking slapping sound. <laughs> I'll never get over this animation. Where he just bashes the side of his head against the the floor. Like he'll always find a way to hit his head on things. This is the goofiest. Can he dig through the floor? Of whatever this stuff is. It's got like dirt coming off it. Okay, so he can dig up, but he can't go up. Ah, uh, this game has a rewind. Where you are a skull thing. There's a lot going on here. Okay. Some of you are feeling that feeling. Some of you are feeling that feeling where you're intrigued. and You're like, okay, BRB, I'm going to go buy this game and play it. And come back to this let's play after I know what's going to happen for myself. Because this is about to spoil things, isn't it?
There's like a... <laughs> I like that he's like... I like his uncertainty of jumping off cliffs whenever you do. Because I feel that too. Because you can't get back up. You're like, what if, what if it's a mistake? Oh. Bleh. I don't think that's a pleasant feeling when that happens. I guess those are checkpoints. If I die, I probably go back there. <laughs> Hold both to climb. So right trigger climbs. If possible. I guess it's possible. Okay, so you have to have a ledge to climb onto. On this side, I could I could dig that as a shortcut and come back, potentially. But until I have it dug, I can't really go that way. Oh, yeah. Is where they're like, you sure you want to do that? You just, like, ruined everything. Oop. They suggest rewinding the moment that the sand... Oh. Because the, the sand breaks immediately, it looks like. Hmm. I can't leave, unless I rewind. I can... Stomp. <laughs> Look at his eyes! Well, that took out all that stuff, so we can go this way. The sand just obliterates all the sand. Er, stomp obliterates all the sand, and he goes bug-eyed. <laughs> loses his mind. What was that sound? Like a bit crushed. It sound like a, a bit crushed like animal call. Might have just been the guitar. Get. <laughs> He's just trying to make his, his way out of the light. Oh, that was stressful. Didn't like that. Oh, don't go in front of it though. My Mr. Driller comparison may have been more apt than I expected if that's going to happen. I used to love playing the game in arcades. Okay. If I don't push... Yeah. If I don't push climb, I can just push it. And dig away. I gotta... I'm rich! Where'd I put that? Just shove it straight up my ass. <laughs> he goes, what? His eyes pop out before he does it. It's like the least useful thing you could do in that situation. That's like damaging. It's just a bad idea. What do I do? Um, does he drown? Can he swim? But also, can I? Oh yeah, I can, I can just push this right. Oh, I'm being rescued by something. They don't want me to drown apparently. It vaguely f feels like I'm playing a Spelunky puzzle game or something. Like certain weird elements of the setting remind me of that. Spelunky being like the only game that can give Dark Souls a run for its money with uh, deaths having comedic timing. Like there's a whole there's a thing to be gotten into about how like Dark Souls feels like a comedy game with how its deaths are presented. And, uh, Spelunky is way harder in that direction. <laughs> Whoop. Is this gonna be a... No, there's a floor. I was about to say, is this gonna be a problem? We have a problem because I immediately love Frederick and, I, and I'm, I'm worried things are gonna happen to him. <laughs> It's like Fidel, where you just want to protect him. I should play Fidel again. Fidel's been updated so much, I think, since the last play that's like a different game now. Everyone should play D Fidel Dungeon Rescue, or Dungeon Escape, but Fidel the dog game. <laughs> it's fucking great. Response to the, cent the center of the alterations. Site director Fignard. We can't triangulate the source from here, and that means one of two things. It's very strong, or it's very close. 
Our last rocket is being prepped to take detention detection equipment far away so we can finally get some answers. You know you live in strange times when it's easier to send something into orbit than it is to travel a few dozen miles over land. That is weird. There's a source of alterations, they're calling it, that apparently can't be accessed easily on foot. So they're gonna ac they're gonna abs observe it from space. I get the thing that's where I'm gonna end up or something, right? Uh, uh. More immediately than I thought. Oh no, it's not even closed. Frederick, you're making poor choices today. What is that? Was that a masked boar? So we're somewhere in California. I saw California as part of the email address of whatever government thing that was, and there's a California flag on the, uh, he's dancing. <laughs> there's a California flag on the, uh, the rocket. With a bear. So we're local. What was that? Was that a masked boar? What was the, What is happening? That's interesting, right? Like you can see the uh, you can see the electricity, the electric wires that go to the light. There's like a continuity. There's, like there's a. Yeah, the, the the actual makeup of the environment, there's like a consistency to it, like it's going to matter later? Where those wires go? <laughs> Welcome to the vault. Everyone's a Is everyone a boar? Are boars boars or are people boars now? He has a little dance, look at him. Look at this guy, he's like, the, I, I was convinced I'm just a wild boar, but he's like a... Ah, what was all that racket? Wait a moment. How did you get in here? That's the door to the vault. Thief! Brigand, empty your pockets. Oh, how unsophisticated. You haven't got any. Yeah, which raises new questions about where I put that gem earlier. Hmm? You're only carrying a single gem? Oh, wow, you remember? Clever. You must have hidden the rest. In that case... You are the, to work in my mines until you can replace every single gem of my considerable fortune. Your vault was completely empty and it was not me that did it. Nothing like hard work to inspire honesty, that, and the interest I'm charging you. Enough chatter, our four bored <laughs> Dean will be will set you straight. He's the grizzled fellow outside. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Yeah, the outside world is like not as developed looking. I guess it's supposed to look like Minecraft, kind of. Not, not necessarily like directly referencing Minecraft, but that's like the aesthetic they ended up on. But it looks less good than all the underworld stuff that's like more detailed. Get out! I have a company to run. I have the time to... Here, go f go find Dean. The grizzled fellow outside will set you straight. Well, Frederick, congratulations. You gotta get a job now. Oh. They're moles. Okay. Are you the grizzled one? No. Full bore mining company. Okay. I guess that's why it's called that, but it's also a bore pun. Get it? I'm just gonna go this whoop. Hello. I'm down here now. Immediately disregarding instructions as you do. How do I go up? Just climb up. I think he doesn't seem to be able to. I think it has to be, yeah, that has to be staggered. Edge. Oh no. He's had a hard life. <laughs> Rolling boulders. I heard the shout from all the way out here. Mr. Bursty got you at Hove, did he? 
Still plenty of gems for you to find in the mines, and that vault needs refilling one way or the other. Day shift's already started. You'd best get down below. But uh, Guess I'm not going to look inside that building for now. Or am I? <laughs> oh. I'm not. My time po powers are limited, as it turns out. It's like Life is Strange, where it's like, Oh yeah? You got cool time powers? Well, fuck you! There was a loading screen, so... <laughs> I guess you're powerless now, Max. That was deeply frustrating. This game has time powers, you can reverse all your choices and do whatever you want. Also, here's a loading screen. That's impassable, so... You yeah. Sorry, that, that, that confrontation immediately followed by a loading screen, so... That was one of the times where you don't get to go back. Better replay the entire fucking chapter. So I can destroy the sand that's up there. Then I gotta destroy the dirt manually. So that fell. Okay, joystick looks around a bit. Can I look down? Yep. Alright. So there's something glowing all the way up there. We're gonna find our way. Oh, that was a door. Sand silos. Hey, look at all those columns back there. Does that qualify? I don't know. It's hard to tell for sure because it's vague to look at. Oh, just a side effect of the game being all QB. Introspection. Yeah, I don't know if I can get up there yet. Maybe there'll be a trick later. The question is whether you get abilities in this game, like a Metroidvania, or if you just learn over time tricks that were always there. Wow, isn't that crazy? Like a Metroidvania. <laughs> like The Witness, or Steven Sausage Roll, or the uh, Monsters Expedition, or I, I think Toki Tori 2 is supposed to work that way. I think it's supposed to be that you don't get new abilities, you just make discoveries about what you could do all along. Which is really, really cool. Realizing that something could have always been possible, but you just didn't know until a, uh, you kind of encounter a scene that's kind of designed to teach it to you is nuts. <laughs> Partly because it leaves the door open to the idea that you might just do it yourself. Do you drown in this game? It's <laughs> goof. sure about that? You sure about that? Oh. What? Oh. I think that means I died. <laughs> I think that means you can't go that way. Interesting. Seems like a place that I don't know how to do anything in yet. And I also don't think I can reach the light that was up there in the first place I was going for when I encountered that on accident. <laughs> Will that ever affect those? It makes them dusty. It seems insufficient. The dust is insufficient. Ooh. Quick like, all right. Eh? Well, now where am I? These are a little chaotic to parse <laughs> some of the environments. There's a lot to look at right now. All right, uh, can I drop down? No, it's not the scaffolding. That's not the crisscross look. This can- I, I could drop down from here to where I am. I can't climb if there's no back and forth. Bzz. Might be counterproductive to do, but you can. Hmm.
if I'm quick about it, I can climb up. Actually, don't even have to be that quick. The sand won't break, it looks like, unless I do it. It does look like this is the type of game where you, uh... There are failure states along the way, where you can, uh... Push too far in your destruction of the level. Which is why there's a rewind mechanic. So you're trying to interact with the environment in a certain way. Without goofing it up. Might need to get under this thing so I can skip it. And from here I can push it over. Can I push you past the- mm. You can't push it again once it's over. What is going on down there? There's like a crazy glowy thing. Glowy might not be the right word for it. Looks like an ender pearl or some shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Oof. Getting me in trouble here, guys. Oop. Gotta be careful with some of that stuff. Okay. I don't, I'm, 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 I'm registering the fact that I don't necessarily know what I'm trying to do. So I'm kind of just vaguely trying to take as many of the boxes with me as I can in case I need them. Just seems like a reasonable thing to try to do. I'm trying not to just get trapped. Oop, that thing just fell down in a way that might be kind of trapped. That was probably bad all around. I think I screwed everything up just now. Yeah, let's push you over here. Because then I can push you from the side and get around. Whatever this is for, I probably am supposed to push it through. So this lets you blow up a crate that's on the other side of you. Was that the... What was that screen? Oop. Did his reaction to getting crushed? Oh, God. He's nervous. Whoa, whoa, oh, well, it never happened. Am I holding it up? <laughs> he is not happy about that. It seems to be his way of being conscious about the fact that it's going to fall on him. It seems to me that uh, there might be a kind of turn-based aspect to how time passes. Okay. Let's go over here. If I do it like this, then I have the chance to climb over it and worry about the other end. I might have already screwed up. I don't actually know what I'm doing yet, is the problem. But uh, this thing's weird. Three of these blocks are the generic block. This is a weird block. I can't quite tell what I'm looking at with it. It almost looks like some sort of like hourglass bell. The other one's like a battery, obviously. So that's probably for something. So I'm probably trying to get those two things to a specific spot. Maybe it's tied to that weird thing down there. But these other blocks probably don't matter. They're probably just more like obstacles. Let's push a little deeper. I think you probably have like infinite rewind. So I'll go back and get back to where I was a second ago. Okay, so it's pretty easy to haul ass and just go all the way to the beginning. So resetting from my perspective is pretty easy. Science Direction Committee Transcript. Science Director in, uh, Fjord. FNJ is a lot of... It's, that's difficult <laughs> for me to interpret. I think we have proven the technique. This needs to stop now. The scope of this project has been surpassed. Our intent was never to create an intelligence outside our own. Augmentation lead kitchen. It has gone beyond that. The, ethic, the ethics of the situation are too complex. How can we stop now? The subjects are now equals. We can't terminate them or the program. Objections, mine included, were raised when we started, but were shot down. There is no stopping now. The use of human test subjects will begin next week. What you guys up to? You guys doing an unethical? You guys doing a nasty? Is it rewind to your... Okay, that's that's handy. 
Instead of rewinding step by step through every single movement you take, like in some games, it rewinds to the last time you interacted with something. So I don't have to do I don't have to go back through every single step of me running up there, like you would in some games. Granted, in some games, every single step you take is important. Hmm. I'm curious, because yeah, it looks like there's not like a specific thing I need to power, and it looks like I have to immediately go up, and can't go anywhere else here. Which definitely makes me wonder what the goal was in this room, like if there was a thing. But this is the rewind at the beginning of the, of the entire room button. This place is pretty easy to escape. So let's think about what we want to do. Huh. I'm kind of... I'm, t I'm imagining that making the two weird blocks touch might do something. That's basically my guess right now. I'm trying to plan ahead here. So if I push this guy all the way up here, I can dig through here. And if I quickly escape past this guy, then we get into a situation where I'll be able to, if I'll be able to burrow under it and push it back. What I need now is the ability to push you over here. Fuck. Hmm. Dot. I think I need to degrade all of the sand now? Because then I can push you. I need to be- I need to not be trapped on the wall. But now what do I do? Just want to just get stuck on this side of the same item? Now it's just to the left of this block. Is that any better? Not, not, like, not really, right? I figure I need to get it all the way to the left if I can. That doesn't seem to, like, knock it away or anything. Yeah, it's still ultimately a staircase situation where every time it drops off, it's gonna get stuck being next to the block that it dropped off of. And I am just guessing here about whether or not there's even a thing to do. It's just, hey, the two of these blocks are weird. So logically I want to like, do something with them. And this level is so easy to skip otherwise, that it feels like I'm supposed to solve it. But maybe I need to push forward and get more context first, for what's going on. Maybe. Yeah, I don't see how I'm gonna get that battery to anything. Hmm. So what do we do about the fact that when something hits a wall, it gets stuck like that? Can I go left? Nope. That's, that's a solid wall on my left. Oh. I can dig up a little bit. Is that important? Because, uh, I can't go left. I totally thought that was the direction I could go in. Now I'm destroying chunks of my environment. I've created a situation where I can't get back up here now because I broke that. Congratulations, you got lore, but have you actually gotten anything else along the way? I guess leaving is the one thing to do at that point. Hmm. Well, I had to be semi-clever just to find that in the first place. So I might be getting a little ahead of myself. I had to get sneaky with that block. 
and, and use the fact that it takes a while to jump to get away. Oops. If I want a staircase, I should just take out the sand. Then the rocks will fall. Everyone dies. I'm rich! I mean, that guy's richer. Yay. I keep thinking these are gonna go somewhere, but it's... It, it, whenever I get to the boundary, it, that just tra translates to... This is a, a screen transition to me. But that's not the case, evidently. I can go under these blocks. But I can't go down there. Transition to here, which is like, I guess, treated as a separate level given that it has its own spawner. That's the main communication we have as to whether something's a level. I think these are my primary chances to, oops. Don't, don't weaken the eye, the, don't weaken the sand. These are my primary chances to get something away from a wall before it collapses. Otherwise it would have been stuck. There we go. We're not getting through there. Yeah, seems pretty consistent that these just aren't doors. It's the, whenever you can go into the background is, is the door. Personal log, researcher Kalvik. Initial findings are good, but there are some anomalies I'd like to see explained. The whole damn thing is, is barely understood. I mean, these taps nearly undermine our current understanding of physics. Can we believe what we see? Curiosity is a good trait for a scientist, but digging deeper without understanding the basis of our observations is a recipe for disaster at worst, and empty promises at best. Taps. The taps are undermining physics. Hmm. What are you guys up to? Is this uh, sand gonna be a problem? Okay, so it does- okay. It doesn't have to break too fast. I could use a bit of a staircase here so I can reach this gem. There we go. The extent to which the local area stops glowing when you get a gem. So I could be blowing right past these. It's essentially optional whether you actually succeed at what is currently your goal, your stated goal at least. Oh! I just broke that block. How long have I been, have I, have I been, have I been able to break them? I guess it's when they're against a wall? Oh, I just learned something, didn't I? Except those ones in that other chamber kind of looked reinforced, didn't they? So maybe you couldn't break those ones? So maybe that's how you deal with something when it gets stuck against the wall. Is you break the block behind it or something, if it's possible. Hmm. I don't think I can go back unless I rewind like crazy, so... I'd have to like redo the level, maybe? Maybe you can come back later? Hmm. I may have just learned my, my first weird... Metroid Brainia mechanic. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using that term now. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. So I guess the idea there is that if you run against one of these, uh, the wooden blocks, you'll push it. But if it hits a wall, then you can break it. In fact, you can kind of see the grid on that right one. You start to see the grid on stuff when you're breaking it, as far as I can tell. So I probably hit that one. All right. Well, let's see how it goes. See you next time. Link in the description if you want to check this game out for yourself.